The number of women dying from womb cancer has gone up by nearly 20% in the last decade. According to Cancer Research UK, since the mid-1990s, there's uh, been more than a 40% increase in cases. More than 1,900 women are now dying from womb cancer every year. But survival rates are also improving. More than three quarters of those who've been diagnosed now live for five years or longer. Cancer Research says maintaining a healthy body weight can have halve the risk of developing it. It's very important to diagnose the disease as early as possible. So particularly after the menopause, if you notice any strange symptoms, any bleeding, pain after sex, pain in your tummy, do get along to the doctor and get it checked out. Robert Marsh is Chief Executive of the Eve Appeal, formerly known as the Gynaecological Cancer Research Fund. He joins us from our studio in central London this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Certainly the Eve Appeal, uh, easier to say. Is it easier to treat now than it ever has been before? Well, there still is an enormous amount of ignorance and embarrassment surrounding the five gynaecological cancers, and womb cancer is just one of, of, of the cancers. But um, just as just been mentioned, the most important thing here is to get bleeding checked. That is one of the most easily recognisable uh, signs of this disease, and the earlier you get a diagnosis, the better you will be. What sort of age range are we talking about? Well, it's generally people after the menopause, but any bleeding um, at any age, get it checked by your GP. All the signs and symptoms for the five gynaecological cancers are available on our website, eveappeal.org.uk, and there's also some information leaflets. One I'm holding here is about womb cancer. So the, the, the more um, equipped uh, women are about the signs and symptoms, they can get diagnosed much earlier, and the survivability rates are much better. It's one of the problems though, isn't it, Robert, especially um, through the menopause, many of the symptoms you've just been talking about there are, are menopausal symptoms so what should women do well sure well women know their own bodies better than anybody else if in doubt go and see your GP um, and keep on going until you feel satisfied and get get these things checked out why is there an increase do you, would you say well, I think that's difficult to say. Um, some people have pointed towards uh, the nation getting slightly bigger and uh, a body mass of over a, bo a body mass index of over 25 um, might indicate uh, a greater propensity to develop one of these cancers, particularly womb cancer. So I think the message is that uh, be aware of your body, be aware of the signs and symptoms, not only of womb cancer but of all the gynaecological cancers, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. And if you smoke, stop. So, what is the correlation between weight and, and um, these cancers? Well, I don't know whether that's uh, particularly well known, um, but one of the things that the Eve Appeal is doing as, pa as part of raising awareness is that we also fund research um, into these cancers, into the five gynaecological cancers, through our core research unit at the University College London. And one of the work streams in that research programme is looking at womb cancer. So hopefully we might be able to find some more answers as, as time goes on. Well, the thing is, if you've got any concerns at all, go and see a GP. Absolutely, and if I can just illustrate that very quickly, I met a woman only on Monday who normally wore black knickers. She bought a pair of white knickers from M&S because they're on offer. She noticed a little dab of blood. She got checked out, and she is now caught. She now calls herself a womb cancer survivor. That's great news. Thank you very much indeed, Robert Marsh, Chief Executive of the Eve Appeal. Thank you. Any concerns at all? Go and see your GP. Rebels in Mali have declared a ceasefire, claiming they've achieved their military objectives. The Touré group have seized the three largest towns in the north of the country, taking advantage of the chaos left by a recent coup by the country's military. A British couple, Diane English and her partner Neil Whitehead, were travelling in the country and fled because of the violence. They're now safe with officials in neighbouring Mauritania. As English's daughter told Sky News, it'll be a relief to welcome them home. Obviously we've been um, worried and concerned. It's been a bit surreal as well. You kind of expect it to happen to other people, not your, not your own family. Um, I mean, as regards to kind of my mum going out there and kind of putting herself in that position, um, that's just her, she wouldn't be here. <laughs> she wouldn't be my mum if, she, if um, you know, she didn't take those risks and, and had that adventurous spirit. So whilst, yes, it is a bit frustrating as her daughter um, and of course my brother kind of sitting here watching the news um, and it is worrying, 